these mushroom shaped heaters, they're really not that effective. And I bet if I spoke to the guy running this place, he'd tell me how expensive they are to run. This next innovation challenges the efficiency of what we've come to accept as the norm. These heaters are about 30% more efficient than your traditional mushroom heater. This is how we test the units. See the black balls there? They measure radiant heat output. Feeling a little bit more like a makeup melting test to me standing <laughs> okay. here. It's very warm. I better turn it down now. Normally, that would be about the distance that you would be with a mushroom heater, but with these, you do need to turn them down. And do I need to be standing right in front of it? No, to no, get no. That yeah, heat? I'd say to move across because they do have a wide spread of heat. The data from the black balls is logged to create a radiant footprint, with red being the hottest, down to at four metres a cooler temperature. So that's the distance in front of the heater? No, no, no. I mean four metres by four metres. Oh, so you've solved the age-old dinner party problem of one person getting all the heat and the rest of the dinner party freezing. Yeah, look, absolutely. That's why we designed the heater in the first place. This is a typical outdoor heater situation. Oh, she's really pumping out some heat. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Rather than heat the wall behind, we're heating the table and the people around the table. And today's pretty cool, breezy Melbourne afternoon. And it's still pretty comfortable here. We designed it really to be more stable and safe than existing heaters, but uh, it's turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I have always said that my wine evaporates more quickly than everybody else's. Now with this heater, I've got an excuse. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs>